Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So here we have achieved the basic thing, right? So we have achieved the basic thing like applying the animations. So we have seen about these all the concepts. So now it's time for us to jump back like loading symbol and all those things we have applied it. Now you have a pretty good idea. Let's say that when I am trying to select an item element, okay, the course card, if I am trying to select it. So the border color, if you try to animate the border color, it would be nice. So how we can animate this border color? If you see here, uh, let's go to the course component.css. So here we are trying to animate it, right? Let's try to animate. So the host thing, I am applying the transition of border. So we need to apply the transition of border 0 0.15 seconds and ease out or anything which we can use it. Now let's see the output for this one. If you try to see the output, if I click on the border, you will be able to see the border is getting animation when I'm trying to select it. But there is one type of jerk is coming. Why this one is coming is, for example, if you try to see this padding 19 pixel is applying first and afterwards after some time after 0 0.5 second border is getting applied. So this should not happen it like this. So for this, for example, let's say that we can use only the border color to be applied. Now, if you try to see the output, the same output, we can achieve it in a different way. If I click here, see, now we are able to see the border animation. Now another type of animation also we will try to do. So the another type of animation which I want to tell you is the, for example, let's say that if I click here, so this selection should be in an animation way. So that means it should say I should have some type of animation so that the user can have some kind of visual experience that whether he, uh, that he has selected this one. How can I achieve this one? If you go to the courses.component.css, here we are having this selected color and these all the things we are using it, right? Now, when I select on that one, with the bump thing, when I, if I select on that one, then we need to have an animation. So that means selected. On selected, I need to apply an animation. Here I will use the keyframes, uh, selected, move or anything, whichever you may be. So here for the first one is the 0%. And I will I will try to apply a transform of scale one, the initial state. And here in the 50%, and I will apply a transform of scale 1.1. Okay, fine. And in the 100%, and I will apply a transform of scale one. Yeah. So this is the keyframe which I want to apply. Now you will be able to observe if I do the animation thing. Animation, if I try to apply here, animation and selected, selected move one second is out or otherwise we can have a 0 0.5 seconds. Now if you see the animation thing, if you try to observe here, if I click on this one, see we are able to see one type of animation, but this animation is looking very much bigger. Let's try to make this one instead of 1.1, we'll make it as 1.02. Okay. Now if you see the same thing, you'll be having a little bit of jerking, you'll be having not jerking. So here see, you'll be able to see one type of selection. So this looks uh, better, way better, right, than the previous one. We are able to achieve some type of animation, we are able to achieve it. So this is how we will be implementing the transition and also the animations in the Angular. Now you may be having a doubts before closing this one all. Now we may be having a doubt that when to use the transitions, when to use the animations, or when to use these Angular animations. So you may be having a doubt. So transitions means, uh, according to my knowledge, how can I say is, when you are applying a transition for a single property or for a couple of property means you can use the transitions thing. And also there will be no middle, there will be no changes. So if you want to apply a transition from first stage to the last stage means without having anything. So you can apply this transition. These are simple transitions in between this one. You don't have anything, but if you are having some complex type of animations you want to do. So that means, for example, let's say that from first stage to the final stage, in between you want to do anything, then the keyframes and all those things will come into the existence. So this one you will be having each and every step you can able to uh, customize this transition in your customize this animation, not only from zero to hundred in between this one also you can able to animate it. Whereas the angular animations. Now this is the difference between transition and animations. Up to now we haven't learned about the angular animations. This is the main difference between transition. Transition means you cannot have a control in between this one. That simple animation you will be having from first to the final stage in the same manner it will happen. Whereas if you want to have a between the 
uh, if you want to control the customization not animation or anything customization if you want means then you need to use the keyframes so that is the main difference between these two and transitions for example let's say that you have used this transition which for which one you have used it for the border color you have used it wherever in the project you, if you change the border color for that particular element automatically the transition will be applied so no matter so for this property if it is changing for that element means the transition will be applied so you cannot control the transition animation thing for only one type of color if you want or one another type of color if you want means you cannot control it whereas in the animation you need to explicitly mention the animation so when you are writing the keyframes if you write the keyframes animation will not be appeared so you need to write explicitly for uh, the code for that animation thing to explicitly invoke the animation so that is also one of the difference so these are the two these are the main difference then what is the use of this uh, angular animations then angular animations toolkit comes uh, with the angular thing so if you want to use uh, the css animations and uh, these things fine angular animations comes with a pretty handy thing we'll try to see in the next videos onwards and this uh, toolkit comes so if you want to implement the complex animations and all the things with one step uh, we can do it using the angular thing and also for example when you are trying to use for an elements if you are having an elements with an ng if or something like that so these uh, elements some things will be there right in angular we will be using ng if like that if you are having an ng if and ng if that means the dom in the dom the element is getting added and removed so the removed the the, the added element the, the uh, explicitly added element using the ng if if you want to add a css animations for that one it will be normally pretty hard for us to implement whereas using the angular animations package so we can able to implement it very easily so we can use the css animations and the transitions but the angular animations are pretty much useful if you want to be in angular so that means these are all coming outside of the angular right if you want to use in the angular package and if you want to be in the angular so this type of angular package animations will be pretty much useful so that is the thing explicitly i want to tell you so mainly where it will be useful is when the elements are getting dynamically added into our application then with using the css transitions and javascript these things we cannot able to achieve it it is uh, usually hard to implement whereas using this anning angular animations package which we will be trying to learn in the next videos onwards so it will by using this ones these dynamically added elements and all those things in the angular code you will be able to write it pretty easily we will see about these all the things so that's it guys about the difference between transition animation and also the angular animations package and also we have seen a simple animations which we can do it with the css and uh, with the css transition and also the animation what i will try to do is i will commit this code in a new branch i will i am creating a new branch here video hyphen 23 so i am committing this one so transition and animation we have implemented it so now i am committing this code let's publish this branch whoever may be having a doubts or anything so if they want to i see the code so they want to refer this code whatever the code i am trying to implement it if you want to refer this code you can go to this github repository url the repository url is provided in the description below of this every video the particular video if you are trying to watch it you can go to that particular video branch which will be committed so you can be able to see that code and all those things hope you understood about this concept the difference between transition animation and also the angular animations package if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video And if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you